Time to play with some clay. Hello, I'm David Lemon, and I put together a group of instructional DVDs to help those interested in sculpting in clay. This video you're about to watch has a family theme to it and is a review of one of those DVDs creating a woman holding a baby. At the end of the video I show you purchasing options for this DVD as well as others on my list. Now, let's take a brief look at what's on this DVD creating a woman holding a baby. Like that, everything comes apart. Uh, well, you can take the uh, rib cage off work on the upper part or, or adjust the, the height of your... I'm creating here a uh, baby uh, being held by a mother, uh, Sacagawea. Uh, Sacagawea, if you didn't know, is a historical figure from the Old West. Um, here I start putting the clay on the uh, armature. It's an 18-inch armature here, and that's why uh, it doesn't have uh, the bones in the arm because uh, it's, it's too small for that. Uh, it does have the leg bones, that's nice. Here I'm showing the uh, the uh, positioning of the hips and the shoulders and starting to add the muscles and the legs. Now, because she's going to have clothes on, I don't worry too much about every nuance uh, of tendon and muscle because it's going to be mostly covered by clay anyway. This was the first positioning of the baby that I came up with. And uh, after running into a lady in a restaurant, I decided to change that because... She was holding her baby a completely different way, and uh, I took pictures of her with my iPhone and uh, came up with a better design than I started out with. Uh, here I'm using a, a Native American lady's face from the movie uh, Black Robes uh, from years ago. Uh, here's the uh, new positioning of the baby, and I'm just uh, adjusting things and trying to make it look uh, motherly and loving. And uh, by bringing the two heads of the, of the uh, baby and the mother together. And this is the uh, idea for the blanket that I'm going to have around her. It, it was taken by photograph of a lady at a mountain man rendezvous. And uh, here I'm working on the baby's face, which is not easy. I hate doing baby's faces. They're very hard, very un-adult. <laughs> Let's go to the computer now and I'll show you. First you go to my website uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale and uh, are listed and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review video of uh, the items or the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs and uh, you pick out the one you want or the ones you want uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them but anyway then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column and there you'll find this drop-down menu where you purchase my instructional DVDs and you just uh, click on a little arrow right here and that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase. Purchase uh, more than one um, that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs. Uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's a there's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package, and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop-down menu, you go down until you find one that you want. For instance, for instance, creating a horse's head in clay. You click on it, and then you click on Add to Cart. 
when you click on the uh, Add to Cart, a page will come up uh, linked to PayPal, your PayPal account. You just uh, make your purchase. If you want to add another one to your cart, you just uh, go down and, uh, for instance, uh, a full figure of a mountain man. Uh, click on that. Add that to your cart. Then it comes up uh, on your PayPal page again. And so now you got two DVDs and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal, of course. All right. I hope that's helpful. I hope uh, you got something from this, and uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting. It's a wonderful uh, career. It's a wonderful hobby uh, you can make into a career. And uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you, when you can sculpt, and eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day. Every time you sculpt something, you'll learn something from the last one you did. And that's, I still learn. I'm doing this for, geez, over 50 years, and I'm still learning. I'm still doing things for the first time. So you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is gonna work out fine. All right, um, I'm gonna let you go now and uh, see you next time. Happy sculpting.